Hey boo. So today I'm doing my first voiceover. Amateur tutorial. Got I cut crease with slimming contour. You know how it go. Proud all year, baby. I am not a professional by any means. I'm going to be using a lot of brands here, but I'm not going to be naming them because number one, they do not pay me, okay? This is not a brand deal. Also, I really, really, really hate it when people do makeup tutorials and they use all these products that you can't find or get because they're either so rare or so expensive, you know what I mean? So I want you guys to be able to use what you have at home and follow along with me. And without further ado, let's get into it. So first I'm gonna do my eyebrows. As you can see, I do it stroke by stroke. Slow and steady wins the race. And I wanna fill them out really nice, but don't worry if they don't look perfect in the beginning. You can always fix it up with the rest of the makeup that you use. Next, I'm going in with a standard jelly highlighter. You can find these at, you know, a lot of drugstores, or you can use, you know, like a highlighting powder. I'm gonna fill in the entire area below the eyebrows to the base of the lid. And this will serve as the base or primer for your eye makeup and make it really pop. You know, you really want that color to stand out there and make people say, wow, look at that bitch. And fan it out, girl, fan it out. Next, I'm going to make my cut crease. I'm gonna use a white concealer and I'm gonna fill in basically the entire bottom half of the eyebrow to, like I said, the base of the lid. And this is gonna make it really pop, pop. I mean like pop, pretty pop, pop, pop. By it, I mean the eyeshadow. <laughs> While the white concealer is drying, I'm gonna go in with the brush I used for my eyebrows and I'm gonna clean them up since the highlighter jelly is now dry. And the white concealer is gonna take a while to dry actually, so we're gonna go ahead and just do the rest of the face because, you know, it's gonna take a sweet, sweet old ass time to dry because the concealer I use is cheap. It is so damn cheap. And here I am cleaning up the outside of the cut crease. By that I mean like the very end. So I don't want it to look unnatural even though there is no way this shit gonna look natural, baby. So I don't know what the hell I be talking about sometimes. Now this next part is tricky. So watch yourself. Because I'm going in with a white eyeliner to highlight the inner corner as well as the under eyelid. Or whatever that's called. You know what I'm saying? The bottom of the eye. You want that shit to pop too. This is all about popping, baby. If you ain't popping, you ain't hopping. You ain't copping. You ain't jocking. And you know, your eyelashes will get messy. That's another thing that you can fix. But you have to wait for the, the cut crease to dry. Because you don't want to mess it up by pulling out your lashes. That might cause some lines. And no lines. No we lines. Fine. We fine. <laughs> As I said, I want to start doing the rest of the face while all of this is drying. It's going to take a while because the products are cheap. But anyways, right now I'm doing the under eye powder. That's the first step to contour in my routine. Then I'm going to do the chin, the nose, and also the forehead. Because, you know, even though I got a big forehead, I like to take a pride in my features. And a big forehead can still look pretty. Girls, traction alopecia. Woo, child. It can get you. But you don't gotta be ashamed. That's my motto. Don't, don't be ashamed. And you know, one thing that's very important, and I'm gonna say this seriously, is make that face smaller, girl. Make it smaller. I got a big old head and need to be smaller. So we're gonna bake the jaw. And this is going to work in tandem with the dark concealer, which is the last step to the contour, at least in my routine. Now here's a cool trick as we go in for the highlighter. If you don't have a loose powder and you have a pressed one, you're going to grind a little bit of it with the back of the brush, then dab that brush in it to make a stronger, like more of a blinding highlight type of feel. Now we're going to highlight that cheekbone. Highlight it, make the face lift, and you're gonna really put the highlighter 
right where the top of the cheekbone is as well under the end of the eyebrow and here I am going in with more highlighter like a second coat of it this is a new highlighting product that I've never tried before so it wasn't giving me really the brightness that I had desired even with the grinding of the palette with the cut crease now I'm gonna just pat it pat it a little bit with the same brush I used to make it just to help it dry even though I am still gonna do the rest of the contour before I fill it in now here I am kind of pissed you see the iPhone ran out of storage girl and I was trying to do the cat eye with the black eyeliner and I wanted you to see it but unfortunately you can't see it because it was cut out it was cut out by the low storage space which has never happened before so it is time to do the dark contour here I am putting it on my forehead the sides of my forehead the bottom of my cheeks right under the highlighter and now under the jaw where I'm gonna cut and make a really snatched appearance where I want my face to end. Basically, the guideline I use is the forehead. So I want the sides of the forehead to match where my jaw ends. Now it's time for that gold. We're gonna use some gold highlighter or you can use gold eyeshadow. And with this, we're just gonna apply it right in the cut crease. I'm actually gonna fill in the entire cut crease. Some people like to leave the white out or whatever that's called but I'm not. I'm just gonna pat it on there and I'm gonna fill in the entire crease. And here I am just blending. Cause you know, blending keeps the boys money spending. <laughs> yeah, ew. And now it's time for some pressed glitter action to top it all off. Yes, get that hair out the way, baby. And you know what? What we're gonna do with this is we're just gonna pat it right on there, right on top of the shadow. And this is going to really, really make it bright. And a little more. A little more, hunty. And it's time for some eyeliner to really make that cat eye. Because you know Dean love a cat eye. Because I'm a badass feline. Or whatever. Again, using small strokes. Small strokes to please the folks. Whoa, that was the journey. But it's time for some setting spray. Because we're going for a gold look, I'm using a gold shimmer spray, which you can find at any pharmacy, any beauty store, or wherever you choose to shop. Let it dry, then lash glue apply. For lashes, I'm using fluffy big lashes, because I'm a big old freak. Shout out to Megan, and these are from Amazon. Apply, and watch your eyes redefine and be divine, be divine, be divine. So that's it everybody, I hope you had a blessed day and I will see you tomorrow if I can, if I wanna do this, if I wanna continue doing this makeup share, I just tried it, give me some feedback, tell me what I can do better, tell me what I did right, tell me what I did wrong, and that's about it, okay? I'll talk to you in the meantime, Keep up, be a king, be a queen, do what you got to do, and just do it, okay? Do it. Do something for yourself, period.